and gentlemen, Justin Plummer here welcoming you to another segment of IWC Aftershock. If you were here with us last time, you saw that RJ City is heading into Cage Fury to battle MDog20 Matt Cross for the Super Indie title. Now, whoever walks out of there is going to need a new challenger, and tonight we're happy to reveal that there's going to be a four-way dance inside of a 15-foot high steel cage to determine that new number one contender. Now the first man announced for that match was a man who at Proving Ground defeated a debuting Lee Ryan to continue his momentum and continue to build a fan base in the IWC. That man was Andrew Palace and following his matchup, IWC owner Chuck Roberts was able to catch up with him to let him know he's going to be in the number one contender match for the Super Indy title at Cage Fury. But unfortunately another contender for that title wasn't too happy to hear the news and you're about to see a side of that man that you've never seen before. No, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Hey, brother. Hey, listen. I just wanted to tell you I'm proud of what you did out there tonight. You know? Yeah. 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 No, okay. I, I mean, it may not be a big thing to you, but I think it's a pretty big thing. All right? The fact okay. that you pulled away that chair and tried to keep that match as legit as you could. But not only that, your win here tonight. I want to tell you, I told you this several months ago, that I think you have a great chance at IWC. And I didn't forget about what happened at Super Indy. And I forget about how you got screwed. Yeah, I got screwed. Yeah, by yeah. RJ City. So I'm going to tell you what. What? Because of what happened, Cage Fury on August the 23rd, yeah. we're going to have a number one contenders match for the Super Indy title. Go on. Whoa, it's whoa, 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 whoa. Partner, buddy, pal. Dude, just because this kid wants to come along, he brings his 20 friends and family. 20 friends uh, and family. Inbred. Family, friends, all these guys, Whoa. they want, you want to put no. the rocket boots on him? You want to put him in his first, what's your Woo. deal? First, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, what's your deal, deal? man? Uh, what's, what's your, your deal? deal? What's your deal? What's your deal? Hey, oh, listen. They don't like you? No, here's they don't the thing. Like you? Hold on for a no, second. No, because I beat your ass in Mountain State, now they want to hold a grudge. How you long ago what? was that? All these people. How long ago was that? Listen here, Mike. You didn't let me finish. Because I wasn't done what I had to tell him. We well, are going to have a number mind. one speaking contenders mind. match. And it's going to be at Cage Fury, and it's going to be inside of the cage. It's going to be Andrew Palace, Matt Taven, Sammy Guarva, and Michael Fassad. Michael. All four of you in a cage. Biggest reason for that cage is to keep Labar and to keep RJ out. Because we're going to have a number one contenders match, and no one's getting screwed this time. So if you guys want to bring this problem and bring this issue to light, you bring it at Cage Fury. But until then... I suggest you guys go about your way and you prepare for August 23rd. How's that sound? <laughs> I have no problem with that. Sounds I'd great love to, to get me. my hand on this fuzzy haired fruitcake. Okay, go ahead. well, go ahead. you will. Just you try. Will. Just go. Go ahead, Andrew. Go. Just try. Mike, go. See you in August. So there it is. The match is set. Four men, best in the business, inside of a 15 foot high steel cage, but only one will walk out with a shot at the Super Indie title in the future. Folks, make sure you are there at Cage Fury, IWCWrestling.com for details. Of course, you can follow IWC Wrestling on Twitter at IWC Wrestling, or follow myself on Twitter at Plumber Loves You. Now, folks, tomorrow night we'll have another segment of Aftershock because Proving Ground didn't just see the debut of new superstars. It saw some veteran superstars come together to form brand new tag teams. We'll reveal that new tag team tomorrow night right here on this YouTube channel, so we hope to see you there. But until then, if you're still with us, you just survived the Aftershock. <laughs>